My name is Pete Evans. I'm stoked to be here with Bookworld, and we're here to promote my new book, Healthy Every Day. It's a paleo-inspired book, so that means no grains, no dairy, no refined sugar. What's left? Beautiful recipes containing meat, seafood, poultry, fruit, vegetables, nuts, seeds. Yummy. The reason I wrote this book was really to embrace the paleo lifestyle, and I think I'm one of the first professional chefs to actually uh, tackle uh, the paleo diet as, as such and I wanted to make it as compelling a cookbook as any that are out there so when people pick it up they don't think that it's maybe a paleo book or a healthy book they're just looking at it think it's a really beautifully produced book but underneath all of that it's got no ingredients that are going to cause your body pretty much any inflammation or any ill harm it's, uh, it's beautiful quality food and uh, it's shot beautifully too probably eat dairy, sugar and grains I'm happiest when I'm teaching people. I'm sad when I see the state of people's health, uh, not only here but across the nation and uh, overseas. And it's um, yeah, it's, it's saddening because most of it can be um, rectified or it can be reversed if we don't get it too late. I love cooking. I'm jealous of. Well, I don't really get jealous to be to be honest. Um, yeah, it doesn't interest me. I can't say no to my kids, you know, and my partner, Nicola. Yeah. Oh. They're in charge. Uh, the one bit of advice that I should have listened to but didn't was probably when I became a vegan 20-odd years ago and uh, people said, don't do it, and I did it for four years and it was really detrimental to my health over a long period of time. To start with, it worked but uh, it wasn't sustainable. If only I um, <laughs> had have embraced um, health and all it has to do a lot earlier, I think um, I would have saved myself a lot of pain. My favourite place is in the ocean. I think um, my good mate Trevor Hendy calls it a spiritual bath and uh, I'd have to agree with him. I just love being out in the ocean with my family. Uh, what am I scared of? I'm scared of not living my life's purpose. Um, that's pretty much it, I, and I believe I'm doing it at the moment, so I want to stay on this path. I'm proud of my children, I'm proud of my partner, I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of, um, yeah, anyone that um, believes they can achieve something in this world. My favourite Sunday night meal is with my family, of course, and it can be anything. I'm, I'm still a sucker for a roast, so whether it's roast chicken with veggies and a beautiful salad, yum. I would like to keep continuing doing what I'm doing, which is learning, teaching, evolving, and uh, growing stronger every day. I used to believe... <laughs> hmm. At school, I used to believe in religion. Not anymore. Uh, the first time I went surfing, I was hooked. The hardest lesson I've ever learnt was to believe in yourself, is to value yourself. I think that's where it has to start with everybody. You have to look at yourself and think, are you happy being the person you are? Or is there a better version of yourself that you'd like to be? And once you believe in that person, then uh, you make the changes to be that. And I'm still changing. <laughs> My book is uh, full of gorgeous recipes that I believe everybody is going to love to eat and cook.